I mean that a traffic situation oh. when you leave very early okay. is better because once everybody starts to go to work, mm -hmm. um, it, it, uh, there's a lot of cars. Right, rush hour. We don't have too, yes, we don't have too many roads. Of course, even in, in the state where you have a lot of roads, you still have traffic, uh, vehicular traffic situations. And construction. And, um, yes. So, um, we go into, because we live in LA, um, the traffic forest, and uh, we drive in um, Elmina Castle, which okay. happens to be the first slave dungeon to be... Uh, oh, they call them slave dungeon? Yes. Okay. The, the, the Europeans will call it castle. Right, they clean up the word. <laughs> and we just keep it real. <laughs> yes. Okay. But these are slave dungeons. This, That's this is not a... There's nothing uh, palace you know, about it. It's, it's not a palace uh, for celebrating. For them, it's yeah, the it palace was about for, for us. These are dungeons. So I like the way you clear that up. Thank you. So we're going to see the two dungeons. The Elmina one which we built in... 1482, mm -hmm. they, you know, the Europeans arrived here in 1471, right. and then, um, you know, when they saw the abundance of gold and how kind the people were, right. they took advantage of that, Was it the and coin? start building uh, what they call warehouses, right. and not knowing to, to us, they were building, uh, you know, dungeons, right. and so now, later, so they already came with the plan, yes, yes, there was a devil so in now, later, they, um, they started uh, taking our people, and, and 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 guess what? They took the best of our people. That's what um, I came from. Because you know, um, uh, they, 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 uh, two things. As as we go along, and as we have time to talk, oh, yeah. um, I might fall asleep. Yeah, I'm listening though. Don't worry. Okay. I just want to do because <laughs> I took my medication and yeah. it makes. I just me... want to give you a general overview. Oh yeah, and I then seen you it. You can go to sleep. Mm -hmm. and then, you know, <laughs> okay. when we get to the dungeons, um, you would see, mm -hmm. touch, mm -hmm. feel, mm -hmm. and 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 actually have a better understand understanding. Words cannot describe what happened. But that's all the the, 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 the things, the information you read, all the history that you read in the books mm -hmm. cannot actually describe what happened. Right. Until you are there and feel and smell and touch. But there's also one you need to take. What kind of a taste did it put in your mouth? Um, bitter taste. Bitter taste. Right. So there's sweet touch taste. Yes. Bitter taste. Bitter. So, so this is this is not only physical but also spiritual. Right. That's why I believe that it's a spiritual cleansing for our people who are coming from the diaspora. Right. Because, from the where? Yes, because by just reading and and seeing pictures it cannot actually make you feel taste and and and, and actually have a experience. Better experience. Right. And that was my main purpose of visiting sure, the country. Sure. So. Um, we're going to do that in the two um, dungeons, okay. the Cape Coast one, uh, which was originally built by the Portuguese and then taken over by the Dutch. Mm. And then we, we're going to come to the um, Cape Coast dungeons, which also was visited by, um, you know, uh, President Obama when he oh. was in the family when they were here. Mm -hmm. And uh, that became actually the, um, the, the, the seat of the British colonial government, uh, you know, where they stayed until 1877, really? when they came down to Accra here to establish the capital, so wow. it, it's a horrific, you know, yeah. history, that however, is, is the truth. Is, is going to actually change you, right. uh, and, and, and make you better, By growth. connect you <sighs> to the ancestors, right. because you, you would be walking on the same grounds that the ancestors, you know, walked in, mm -hmm. walked on, and then, you know, you will be walking on their tears, mm -hmm. uh, you know, feel their anxiety, the, uh, you uh, know, everything. Under DNA. In. Yes, yes. Yes. And then that's where the connection comes in. Right. You know, and uh, that's why I always make a statement mm. that, you know, just like the Muslims will make it points mm -hmm. it's important for every muslim to visit mecca mm. uh, saudi arabia at least right. once in their lifetime every african mm -hmm. living in a diaspora what did you say living where the diaspora the diaspora, oh, diaspora. diaspora. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know african american if i should put it that way i don't even use that word right <laughs> it's so, not real. so that's why I use the first i'm one. black <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm your so, cousin yeah every black that is living 
in a state or wherever part of the world that it might be Brazil or whatever, uh -huh. they should make it a point to at least visit these slave dungeons once in their life. May I ask you? Yes, please. 